In this next section, we're going to talk about the different ways that a lead can come into your follow-up boss account. There are basically three different ways. The first is that you get assigned either a brand new or an existing team lead. Um, these leads are whether you, you know, answer a phone call from Zillow or you um, claim an appointment in Slack and the ISA is handed off to you. Either way, these will end, end up being assigned to you and they will show up in your people, all people tab. For example, down here, I can see that we've got uh, Peyton, a Zillow Flex lead that came in and was assigned to Ian. And so it just showed up right in his inbox. Two other ways. Um, the first is if you are, you know, say you're working with a, a client who is someone from your sphere or a referral from a past client, and you just would really like to have them in follow-up boss so that you can do all of the follow-up through there, the same as you're doing with your team leads. Um, you'll go up here where there's a, this little icon that's got a little person and a plus sign, and you will click on add person. All you need to add is their first name, last name, and email. Um, put a phone number in there if you've got it, and then select a lead source just so that that gets filled in um, and then hit, click add person and they will show up right in your follow-up boss account. If you've got a longer list of people to add, um, say a list of past clients or a, a sphere list, you'll go to admin and then import. There's a little tutorial video if you're having trouble um, and then click on import your contacts and you'll select a file. Um, it will go through and ask you to confirm that these people are, you know, have agreed to be contacted, it'll ask you to assign each of the columns to a follow-up boss field. So first name, last name, phone number, et cetera. Um, and then it'll ask you what stage you wanna put all of these into. For example, if it's your sphere, you'll put it into sphere, or if it's just new leads, you'll put it into lead. And then it'll likely also ask you the lead source. So you can do that all at once as well. Um, and then it'll take a few minutes and then you'll get a, either a, a pop-up message right here in your follow-up boss or a, an email saying your import is complete. And then all those folks should show up in your people tab as well. So th that's how we get leads into our follow-up boss account.